Jesse Owens. <laughs> now, I give you this a dumb, simple thing to do. You don't even understand the how to do this. This is a lack of working at the Looney Tunes. <laughs> Sit over here. What? I want you to pretend that you're me, and I'll pretend that I'm you. And you sit there, now. When I point to you from that room, you stand up. Then I'm going to buzz that buzzer and tell you you got a real important phone call. Now, you understand that? Yeah, I'm you and you are me. For a good news there. All right. Now, don't forget when I point to you. something that I have to tell you. I, I just heard the, <clears throat> from the doctor. Dr. Otto? Yes. What did he say? Just gave me the report. Uh, maybe you better uh, sit down. Okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> he said that uh, according to the report that Life expected didn't say he is about the, the week. Oh, darn. That was my... <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> you mean, uh, you hear this kind of news and that's all you say is, the oh, darn? <laughs> when, uh, when did you first uh, start to thinking that there's something new is wrong? Well, I... Th it was uh, last Saturday, and that was when I first started to hear the funny noises. Oh, I know. That's what they say. And then on Sunday, some parts fell off. <laughs> and then I knew I was in big trouble when I saw this big puff of black smoke. <laughs> So I took my car into Dr. Otto's auto repair shop, he and he said he wait could a see minute. what he could do about it. Hold it just a minute. <laughs> auto repair? Yeah. You mean that Dr. Otto is working on that piece of tin that you call your car, the one with the dog in it that goes... <laughs> like that goes like that. I don't know what you like that. Came in all the time. I was thought I was talking about you and you got me all coffee and all the rags and everything here and I well, thought that I that for crying out loud that you were at the... Where are you going to now? I'm going home. I get a headache whenever you yell at me. You're not going anywhere. You got the letters to type here and you're going to type those things if you like it or not. Oh. And another thing. Uh, I'll just be in my office and I won't bother you. Hey, Mrs. 
mister. Take it easy on that machine. You're going to break it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't come out here to break this machine. <laughs> So I didn't come out here every 10 minutes to put the dime in there just to hear that machine go <laughs> Yeah, I lost my dime into that machine right there. All right, right now, don't get excited. Right. Let's see here, we'll get it back. There you go. Mm. Well, now, mister, you put a slug in there. I could have you arrested for that. Well, that's really comical. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put no slug in there. I put the dime in there and they put it in there. Yeah? It's the first dime I've seen with a picture of Daffy Duck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I look, Blue Knight. I want to... <laughs> Coin went in there that had the picture of Roosevelt on it. I don't know why the devil that come out there. I put the dime in there. My... I don't care. Now you just lighten up on that machine, or there's going to be trouble. <laughs> now you be a good fella. All right. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> I shut that off now, boy. <laughs> Just to stand right over there, boy. Nobody's taking me off of the who's gal. <laughs> who's gal? Listen, I'm just a lousy building guard. I'm not cool, Jack. I'll be back to my desk. I'm going to back over there, boy. I'll let you have it right now. Don't you tell me that you're going to do that to me. Sure, the next thing I know that you're going to get this gun in the back and then I turn to my back and you go kabang, kabang. <laughs> I'm going to send it for my ma. Ma, sure, the... I don't believe this. Have her try and talk me out of this, you think so? Yeah, next thing you know, she's down there yelling her head off at me, and then the newspaper gets a hold of that story, makes a whole bunch of fun of her. Then some toy company is probably making the Ma Tud Ball of Charms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put a hole in whoever's responsible for this right now. I'm not responsible, I don't even drink coffee. I know that. This is responsible. <laughs> Oh, there's your cup of coffee. All right. All right, everything's all right. Now, do me a favor, will you, friend? Next time you come to work, bring your own coffee, huh? Hey, I told you that the dessert are the other. Thirteen dimes here. Free coffee. <laughs> Could you make up your mind about something there? You didn't uh, hurt yourself. <laughs> hey, flamingo legs. <laughs> she has it decided here on the something. All right. I want the lobster cocktail. Lobster cocktail. And the Caesar salad. Caesar salad. And a rack of lamb. Oh, I'm sorry. The rack of lamb is only made for two. Okay, and also the uh, chocolate mouse. Excuse me, just a minute. Uh, mm -hmm. Just uh, watch the tally on that little snack. It'll be uh, $24.95. $24.95? <clears throat> With the tip, that would be $25. <laughs> Yeah, that just uh, leave that here. Just be the one order. <clears throat> I'm going back to the office, uh, Mrs. Higgins. I'm going to put a little uh, tub of water under your desk for you. Tub of water? 
Yeah, so you can uh, soak your feet in it while you're pecking away at your electric uh, typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> I'll turn your order in. Oh, no, that's all right. I've changed my mind. I'll just have a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs>